Hey everybody, I'm Buckcat, but you can just call me Bucket. Today we're going to be drawing the Greta Raider characters in uh, Square Paint. I know, like a lot of people, I'm also currently obsessed with the Greta Raider. I instantly fell in love with all the characters, and I just had to draw them. Let's just get into it, shall we? The very first time I played the game, Party New was the first character I encountered, so I had to draw them first. They are an NPC that can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. They use they them pronouns, and they are killable. They can be found on the subway floor, along with pets. Party Noob has the appearance of a stereotypical Roblox Noob. They have a yellow head and arms, a blue torso and green legs. They also have a custom smiley face, a purple hat with colorful stars on it, and a party horn that can be in any random color. When Party Noob enters the elevator, each player is granted with the ability to slap them in the face with a 30 second cooldown for each player in the server. Every 15 seconds, they will blow their party, party horn. The next character we're going to be drawing is Pest. Pest is an NPC that can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. They use he-they pronouns and can be found on the subway floor. Pest has a blocky build, mainly having the appearance of his 2011 Roblox guest. All of his body parts are black, with his head having a black shadow on top. On the front of his upper body is the 2006-2009 Roblox logo in Japanese. And on the back of his torso are the words, make a free account to change how you look, also in Japanese. The word guest in red is vertically placed on his left arm. He also wears the Roblox R baseball cap and has two mandibles on the sides of his head with two palps near his mouth. Lastly, Pest has a devious grin with red eyes. Pest enters the elevator saying, hello, today is a lovely day in Japanese. He can steal coins if a player is too close to him. The amount of coin coins depends on the victim's coin amount. Pes can steal up to five coin. He climbs out of the elevator to steal the ruby from the temple of something floor. He also exits the elevator on the cardboard house floor. Personality-wise, Pes is standoffish from the other NPCs. He is a loner and doesn't wish to make friends, denying the fact whenever an NPC calls him one. He is easily annoyed, is straightforward, and will often steal items and lie about it. Pest has the tendency to insult whatever NPC is talking to in Japanese, so they won't understand what he's saying. Mannequin Mark is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. They use any pronouns and are found in Stanley's office. Mark has an entirely wooden body except for his legs, which are a dark grey stand. He has a crudely drawn face that is similar to the default Roblox face, and wears a hard hat that can be green or yellow. In his Halloween appearance, his wood is blue in color, and in his Christmas parents. He is wearing a reindeer antlers and a big red nose. Mannequin Mark spawns through the Stanley office floor, where the ceiling of the first room will collapse, with him falling through a now broken roof and saying, hey Jim, afterwards. Mark would hop into the elevator, but only if the elevator is not full. One of my personal favorite things about Regretta Raider is seeing all the interactions with the characters between the either the players or the different NPCs. The next character we're going to be drawing is conveniently Walter. Walter is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. They use any pronouns and are found on the flat grass floor. Walter has an appearance of a tall, grey humanoid figure with a beige torso and brown legs with a drawn-on smile while also adorning a blue woolly textured scarf. And if you couldn't tell in the drawing, I immediately forgot his scarf. <laughs> In flat grass, Walter falls from the arch building and then proceeds to walk towards the elevator, entering if Mr. is not inside, or if the elevator is not full. One thing I want to talk about is the relationship between Walter and Mark. It is said that Mark proposed to Walter and got married. But after having different tastes in building materials, Walter asked for a divorce. Which is like really sad. Next is Lampert. Lampert is an NPC who can be found in-game and entered the elevator. He uses he him pronouns and it can be found on the floor 3008. Lampert appears as a grey Robloxian character, more specifically using the R6 rig, with the exception of the head, which has been replaced with a light yellow lampshade, with a switch located at the bottom right of the lampshade. He also has a black electric plug for a tail. He has a smiley face similar to Walter's, but with bags under his eyes. Lampert can enter the elevator in the 3008 floor, but only after a player manages to find him hiding and posing as a normal lamp. When Lampert is found and clicked, he will sprint to the elevator if the floor ends while he is sprinting, he will teleport. Next up is Bive. Bive is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. She uses she-her pronouns and can be found on the FNARB 
funny maids. Four, the entire body is made out of black hair. She wears vibrant white glasses that seem to emote like eyes do in official art, has yellowish white teeth with two sharp canine teeth. She is also wearing a beige detective-esque suit and stands in a paranoid stance. Five can enter the elevator on two different floors, being Effin ARB and Funny Maze. Five is said to be a conspiracy theorist. She appears to have some form of paranoid based on the way she speaks and acts. She is a self-appointed detective. Five does not trust Pest at all, and given the chance would run away from him as fast as possible. Five is the first and currently only P NPC who can be found from two floors. Five will leave the elevator on the backrooms floor, the tumbler ball pit floor, two stud camp, and slide for at. According to Y-E-U-C underscore C in stage, Five is made completely out of hair. Five's original name was going to be Skag, but the name went to another NPC. And lastly, Five is lactose intolerant. Here's where my game decided to conveniently crash on me and not let me rejoin the same server. So that's why some of the characters are missing. Show them again at the end of the footage, but they'll just be gone for now. This is Narpy. Narpy is an NPC who can be found in game and will enter the elevator. Z uses Zizem pronouns and can be found in two stud camp. They can't be killed by players, but can be killed by Mr. They are hostile in their spaceship, but not hostile once they get into the elevator. Narpy is a green, bipedal, humanoid, cat-like alien with darker green fur patterns on Zier arms, legs, ears, and tail. Narpy's head has two upright cat ears and small tufts of green fur on either sides of their head and chest, on both Zier shoulders and Zier arm ears. Z also features two antenna on Zier head and tail, with neon yellow tips on the ends. Z has a large five-pointed star colored neon yellow placed on the center of Zier torso. Zier face has the appearance of a cat, but with more slanted eyes. On Zier Halloween skin, Z has patches on Zier right arm, left foot, and waist. Narpy's green spaceship malfunctions in the forest at two stud camp, crashing into the secret area of camp, where Z will proceed to sneak into the elevator. The existence of many spaceships implies that there is a whole Narpian race. There is a 50-50 chance for either Zem or Spud to enter the elevator on the floor. Next is Spud. Spud can also be found on two stud camp, along with Narpy. They use he-they pronouns and are an NPC that could be found in-game and will enter the elevator. Spud is a blocky R6 character wearing a light gray bucket on their head with a blue bow tie. He has a white head and long arms, acting as legs in a green shirt reading Camp Counselor Spud and Two Stud Camp. He has two black oval eyes and a tilted smile between them. If the Two Stud Camp floor arrives, Spud will have a 50% chance to enter the elevator saying Spud. If he is clicked, he will make a short womp sound. Once he has been clicked between 250 and 500 times, Spud will slowly get angry, eventually turning red and twitching his head sideways. His bow tie also spins while this occurs, as well as his bucket hat turning a glowing red to glowing white as steam blows from his head. He will explode and damage other players in the explosion radius during this event. The player who clicked on Spud would receive the Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly Badge. Spud is the only NPC who has a punctuation mark in his name. If Mr. is in the elevator, Spud will stop, get angry, and explode in front of the elevator door. He will remain there until the floor ends. Spud is afraid of loud distorted noises and tape recordings of violins. This NPC is one of the four NPCs that can hurt players. The others are Reddy, Party Noob, and Dr. Retro. Spud has a negative relationship with Narpy because of their lore. Their interactions imply that Narpy was the one who invaded Spud's camp. And lastly, Spud has major brain damage from the Nar Narpian attack, and sometimes finds he prefer to say Spud over and over again. Next up is Split. Split is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. She uses she-they pronouns and can be found on the floor of Split Splitsville. Split is a banana fruit tar, a fictional species of snail dog centaurs. She wears a banana peel on as a hat, brown glasses, and coiled up banana as a shell. She has roughly two squiggly antenna and brown eyes, and a round, almost completely spherical nose, and a calm smile. She has a light yellow skin tone and an orange shirt. The brown tips of the bananas on her are wooden texture. Split will appear among the crowd of people beside S Comics in Splitsville. Once three players complete the obby, she will walk into the elevator unless Mr. is present. 
If there is less than three players on the server, only one player will need to finish the obby in order to get them in the elevator. Next up is Pilby. Pilby is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. They use they-them pronouns and can be found on the floor we love. Pilby appears to be a white anthropomorphic caterpillar with four arms and a light green, cyan green, and azure colored abdomen. They have pink hair to go along with their azure hat, pink bow tie, and cyan green nose. Pilby's real name is Pilbert. Pilby likes coloring books. Pilby played the trombone for their first half their clown career before they were fired. They occasionally provide backing music for the circus. Pilby is pansexual and non-binary. Pilby doesn't like basketball, but they do enjoy coloring. Pilby's favorite ice cream flavor is birthday cake. And lastly, Pilby can do a backflip, but not a front flip. Next up, Infected. Infected is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. He uses he and pronouns and can be found on the Infected department floor. Infected is a Robloxian that has short brown hair with a purple hat. They have yellow skin, eye bags, black pants with white shoes, and a pink t-shirt with the words, tough guys wear pink on it. The word pink is written in a darker color of pink than the shirt, compared to the rest of the text being in black. Infected will enter the elevator from the infected apartment floor with a special room with a different gizmo and gadgets. Infected plays electric guitar and is a skater that enjoys 2000s clothing, music, and slang since they grew up with it. Infected's favorite song genre is Nightcore. The apartment that Unpleasant appears in is actually Infected's apartment. Unpleasant just happened to be there. Infected has a virus and it's contagious. He's aware of it, but the virus affects his brain and makes him not want to be medicated. Infected's favorite soda is Fizz Up. His birthday is March 3rd, and his legal name is Casper. And lastly, Infected used to have a pet cat named Pop-Tart. After Unpleasant began randomly appearing in Infected's apartment, the cat disappeared. Next up is Dr. Retro. Dr. Retro is an NPC who can be found in-game and will enter the elevator. She uses she, her pronouns and can be found on the floor Gumball Machine. Dr. Retro consists of a yellow colored sphere with two cat ears on top alongside with two black oval eyes and a wide smile. In her Christmas appearance, Dr. Retro wears puffy purple earmuffs. Once the gumball machine floor comes up, Dr. Retro has a chance to peek from the top of the elevator, then eventually falls, entering the elevator. She will spin left to right during her trip in the elevator, which is said to be simply because she is happy. If Mr. is in the elevator, Dr. Retro will kill it via purple lasers from her eyes. However, this kills Dr. Retro in the process. Additionally, if an NPC with less than 50 health is present in the elevator, Dr. Retro will heal them to their max HP. She does this via green lasers from her eyes. Players can throw a snowball at Dr. Retro to make her talk. They throw a snowball or a tomato at her four times, she will eventually kill the one responsible via purple lasers from her eyes. Alternatively, if Mr. Maneuver is present during the shop space floor, she will also kill them via purple lasers from her eyes and will melt them into a goop. However, Mr. will still be present in the elevator. This also makes Dr. Retro glitch out in the process, where she won't be able to go out and explore the shop instead staying in the elevator. And last but not least, we have Infoso. Infoso is one of the NPCs in Regretta who can be found in-game and will not enter the elevator. They use any pronouns, but he, him, are preferred. They are found in the floor sh shop space. Though they are not hostile to players, in the lore they are. Infoso appears to be a massive yellow colored sphere with two uh, line eyes and a smile with a bent line on the, each end. Infoso appears to be in the shop space floor. Infoso is a cashier that occasionally laughs or speaks. They will also stare at the nearest player.